universe are you thriving surviving or barely aliving today let me know down below um today i am going to be speedy because i have my year in review slash all-time completed paintings because i haven't com completed that many and while i'm doing this i have a sleeping toddler who will probably wake up hopefully not before i'm done and uh, now he's an escape artist. He is officially a crib hopper. So as soon as he wakes up, you have to go get him. <laughs> he doesn't like, he can't just lay there for an extra five or 10 minutes while you finish something up. So uh, let's get to it. So I decided to do a year in review video and I have my computer pulled up way over there so I can go look at which ones are which and when and what I did. But, um, I'm gonna do my best. I don't have a logbook. I need to start one. Um, I just have my gems flow, which I put information into. So um, I'm gonna read from my gems flow account and hope for the best. So my first one that I completed in January of 2022 is Undersea Dreaming. Oop. Um, Undersea Dreaming is by Mandy Mizano and Diamond Art Club. Um, there's 39 colors. It's 46, let's see, what does it say? 47 by 78 centimeters. Um, it is a round drill canvas. I started it on August 15th of 2021, and I finished it January 20th, 2022. Obviously, I was not diamond painting every day. I'm much faster now. Um, I was just slow. I was dealing with a child. I wasn't diamond painting every day. I was still, there were other things in my life at that point. <laughs> now diamond painting is all I do. So yeah, it took a while to finish this. Also, before I continue, please don't judge me for any specs, furs, or anything. I have a cat. This lives under my bed in an art, art portfolio, and uh, this is real life. So um, I, yeah, I love doing this kit. I think I'm actually going to give this to a friend of mine who loves Ariel. Um, yeah, because I actually found, um, the daughter of the sea king and I'm going to do that and I just don't need two aerials. Um, but isn't she pretty? There were two ABs, looks like a white AB and then Lord knows what the other one was. Um, but I can see some in her shell bra and just, you know, classic Mandy, um, old, old diamonds not the newer ones. And this one still exists on the site. Must have been some sort of other white. Other AB. Because I don't see, oh, 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 here. It's like this lavendery color right here. You see them? Yeah. So, yeah, that was my first finish of 2022. My next one was, this is actually my first diamond painting wasn't a Mandy Manzano. Still from Diamond Art Club. This is Hogwarts and Hedwig. You can see it's kind of like the newer style. These were the newer round diamonds um, before they redid production, um, like stopped doing diamonds. They did like back in the summer. Um, so there was 47 colors and it looks like two ABs, which was like a white and a yellowy color. And this painting is 56 by 64 centimeters. It's called Hogwarts and Hedwig. And it was so pretty. It was so much fun to do, actually. I really enjoyed this one a lot. It kind of made me go faster. So you can see here in the owl, you see some of those ABs. And then I think in the windows, they have some of these yellowy ones. Oh. Let's get it to fold. See up there? The yellow in the window. See the windows have like an extra glimmer. This is also round diamonds. And let's see, I I started this one February fourth, and I finished it April twelfth. So it still took me forever, but way less time than the first than the the, the first finish of twenty twenty two. Um, you know, only. What is that? Two months instead of the other one was five months or something like that, four months. So clearly speeding up. I think this is when I started to really, I started to really 
get into the community more. Um, this is for an event. I don't know what happened here. Um, this one was for an event called Star Wars and Space Diamonds. It was hosted by uh, Bella Art Dana Cole and Emeralds and Fairy Lights. It is 11. It's Doctor Who themed. And I think they still sell this one on Diamond Art Club as well. Um, and it is 50 by 70 centimeters, 44 colors, round. Um, I started it May 2nd and I finished it May 30th, so within the month this time. Um, I loved it. I love Doctor Who. I'm obsessed. The 11th Doctor is my favorite Doctor, Matt Smith for life. I love him. I would marry him a million times over. I wish that he would notice me. <laughs> Sorry, that's my fangirl moment of the day. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Actually, it went by really fast. And that was just a fun event. And I think they're doing it again this year. And I have actually the 10th. So maybe I'll do that one for this event, the this year's event. So what is that? One, two, three? The third one? Okay, so we have a lot more to go. We're obviously already in May. So you can see that I picked up speed a little bit. Uh, my next one... Is sloth puzzle and I think I started this one actually before the Star Wars and Space Diamonds event started and didn't finish it because I wanted to um, I wanted to do the event and I couldn't do them both at once so let me check so yes I started this one April 16th um, and I finished it June 5th and um, let's see so it's uh, 75 by 55 centimeters, 49 colors, round, again from Diamond Art Club. And there were two ABs. It looks like a white and a blue. You can see some of the white AB in the small spaces. And then some of the blue on like the bird over here and on like, see in this butterfly, it's a little extra sparkly down here. Um, I love this. I love sloths. They're amazing. And I thought this painting was really fun um, and super cute. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to remember back to that far. I mean, you can tell that this is a mix of the old diamonds and the new diamonds for this one. Um, like see here in the, the, the toucan, he's extra sparkly, like right here. And I think these are black, uh, like three tens, but then like these greens are not as shiny and sparkly. So you can kind of tell that this was a mix, but it didn't really bother me. So it's mostly the black and I think, um, like the dark browns um, that are the new diamonds in this one. And the butterflies are so pretty too. I loved it. So yep, that was one, two, three, four, four. I don't remember. Four is right. Okay, the next one. I did this one for an event, but I didn't finish it um, during the event because I did another event. Oh, actually, I probably need to talk about that one first. So up on the screen, you will see the, the one I finished before this one. Um, I'm going to pop it in here. And that was Daughter of Honor, which is a Mandy Benzano princess panel um, that is discontinued. Um, it is a 42 by 125 centimeter round, uh, 47 colors. And I started it June 5th and finished it since July 14th, but I thought I finished it during, maybe I didn't. I think I tried to finish it during the Princess Along event hosted by Emeralds and Fairy Lights, but failed um, because I went on out of town with my family. And I thought, well, I'll do the Princess Along in June. And then the, uh, what was it called? Harry Potter DP Along, I think, was June and July. So I can get this other one done in July. Well, that did not happen for either of these, <laughs> but it's fine. I still enjoyed doing the event with everybody. Um, so yeah, so the Daughter of Honor is at the house that I'm moving to. I moved it. It's in a box. It doesn't fit in this portfolio, so it got already moved with all the boxes. Um, so that's why I don't have it here to show you, but it was beautiful and so much fun to do and didn't take me very long considering the size. I mean, June 5th to July 14th with like a week out of town in there is not too bad. Um, considering I do have a full-time job and two children. Yeah. And a lot. it's just a lot. Life's a lot. <laughs> okay. So I will move to the Hogwarts crest. This one's called Hogwarts crest fine oddities. It is a square. And these were the newer diamond art club squares. 
but they were still a mix of nine and 13 facets. There were 42 colors. It's 56 by 66 centimeters. Um, Diamond Art Club Square, I said that already. I started it July 3rd. <coughs> Goodness, I started it July 3rd and I finished August 10th. There were four ABs. Um, I did put here in the notes, so much confetti. Um, yeah, this was my first experience with like true confetti, the, all the flowers. I think that's part of why I was like, oh, this one's not huge. I can do this. And it's a square. So obviously more diamonds. But I was like, it'll be totally fine. I can finish this in a month. Um, but then those flowers were just like confetti hell. Um, but it's really pretty. I saved the middle part for last. Because then I, it felt like I had... I could go really fast, but as always, those beautiful square drills. That's number five. Oh, six, actually, because I'm not counting six. Yep, six. Okay, so my next one I did for Oz and Og, um, which was hosted by Crafting with Shay this year. She may or may not do it again. It's coming year. It just depends on if the original person... Um, is back and ready to do it or not. Um, I she, she left the event really open-ended, which was amazing because I didn't have a Wizard of Oz specific canvas, but I did have this beautiful witch canvas that made me think of Wizard of Oz and I got Wizard of Oz cover minders to go with it. So there we go. So this is Scorpio. It's by Roy Trin and Diamond Art Club. Um, the reason why I thought that this one went really well with the event is one, witch, wicked witch. And two, I don't know if you remember. Oh, some diamonds came out here. Uh -oh. um, I don't know if you remember, but in The Wizard of Oz, they had that big um, looking like crystal ball and she could see like her aunt, her NEM um, in the crystal ball and stuff. So th that's why I picked this one for that event. And I need to go back and find some whatever color that is to uh, put three little square drills there. Uh, the color blocking in the background was exhausting, but I try to get it as straight as possible. You can kind of see like the way that I place it. You can kind of see my lines, unfortunately, but that's life. This is Walgreens. It's fine. Okay. I think I only, I only see those three missing too, so that's good. Maybe I'm just misplacing them. Maybe I was just so tired by the end of that. I totally missed those. I doubt it, but who knows? Here, my child. Uh -oh. Okay. Yep, I do. He's awake. I have to go get him. Um, but I will tell you before I go. Well, no, I won't. Okay, so Scorpio was 51 by 71 centimeters. Square. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm out of breath. I just went up the stairs. <laughs> Sorry. Square, 33 colors. Um, I started August 7th and I finished August 28th. And there were four ABs in that one. So the next one's a big one. Oh, goodness. Plop. Oh, the touch. So here is my next one. This is Midnight Spell by Chris Abug and Diamond Art Club. And I completed it for Drills and Chills this year, which is a, an event. Oh, I did it for Drills and Chills. I'm sorry. Drills and Chills and Festival of Witches, which are two events that are kind of like sister events. One is hosted by Diamonds and Washi, and that's Drills and Chills. And the other one is hosted by Emeralds and Fairy Lights Festival of Witches. So obviously we got a witch. Oh, actually... And I did this one um, for Paws and Claws, too. Claws and Paws. Paws and Claws, Claws and Paws. I don't know. It was said both ways by the, uh, the hosts calling you out with Steph and Laura. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so Steph with Drills are a Girl's Best Friend or Lazy River Wood Turning here on YouTube. Um, and um, now Lazy River Diamond Painting. Sorry, my child kicked the stand. And Laura with Anxiety Art Adventures hosted Paws and Claws, Claws and Paws, Paws and Claws, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you see that there's three kitties in this one, so they also fit that criteria too. And then the witch. 
And this one is huge and beautiful and I love it. I loved everything about it. Um, I would do it again in a heartbeat. I think some people talked about being miserable like up near the top, but I started from the bottom. <clears throat> so I got to enjoy the kitties. And then by the time I got to the top, I was tired and I wanted it to be done. So it kind of worked out that this was kind of boring and color blocky at the top at the top because I was over it. <laughs> um, but no, in the best way. Uh, the squares are beautiful. This might even be thin. Was might have even been Diamond Art Club's like new drill field. I can't remember. Let me give you the stats. Okay, so this one is 70 by 89 centimeters. Uh, 59 colors, square. I started at September 10th and I finished at October 25th. So that's not too bad. That's like a little over a month and it's pretty big, so clearly I started to speed up. Hopefully you can hear me fine. I have to stand a little further away from uh, my phone because two-year-olds like to grab things. So I don't know what number finish that is, but nine? I don't know. We'll count them all in a minute. I think this was, I think the bottom one was my next finish. My next finish was Expecto Patronum. Um, I got this, this was a, um, oh, what's the word? This was an Amazon exclusive with Diamond Art Club and I started it during, I think, yeah, during uh, Festival Wishes and Drills and um, I started this as sort of a desk kit uh, to entertain myself for like 10 or 15 minutes when I needed a break um, from working. So that's why it took me a little longer. I was doing other kits like Midnight Spell and stuff um, it were mostly my main whips. And then this one's kind of like a background whip. Um, so it is 33 by 43 centimeters square. I started at October 2nd. I finished it November 11th. And it was fun. Um, I did have some issues with trash on the main color. I forget what color it was. My washi is constantly lifting off this and it drives me absolutely nuts. Um, it, just there were some, there were some taps, but it wasn't a big deal. I had plenty to do and it looks like all the drills are still there. And the, the more I look at these, the more I think that I must have just like forgot to put those three drills down on Scorpio that happen to be missing and we're all the same color. It just seems weird that those three right there perfectly would have been missed. Okay. And then, is this considered my, I guess so. Last finish of 2022. This is the second non-DAC painting I ever started and the first one I ever completed. Um, it is from Lazy River Diamond Paintings. Um, this is Saved by the Manatee. It is 50 by 65 centimeters, 41 colors, round. Ah, oh, don't kick that. Sir, don't kick that. No kicking. It's not funny. It's not funny. Okay. Um, round. And I started it November 17th and I finished it December 4th. Um, a lots of good color blocking. Now the other ones that are along the same vein of being like sort of 90s Saved by the Bell style, hence Saved by the Manatee. Oh, the artist is Tabitha Lozano. I don't think I said that. Um, uh, the other ones have more color blocking than this one. I think this one had the most confetti of the three, but still a decent amount of color blocking, especially like through the Manatee itself. Some of these down here on the sides before the blending occurred uh, up there, the yellow and in the little circles. So that was a really fun kit. I loved it. I, I loved getting the chance to support one of my friends. Um, I feel like I've gotten a chance to make friends with and support a lot of um, my new friends in the community. Uh, and I'm really lucky that I got to know everyone um, and really got, you know, caught up in the whirlwind of diamond painting. Um, I'm going to try to maybe take out the ones that other ones how about this how about I'll do this so 
this one was the last one I finished in 2022. No, I'm missing a few. There are a few missing. I know there are because I've given some away. So I can talk about those real quick. Let me look. Okay, so the one that I'm missing from this year was by Larcon Mito. I will put up a picture on the screen. And it was uh, gifted to my aunt, and that's why it's not here. Um, but it is a Diamond Art Club. Okay, okay. And Mandy Manzano. It is 16.5 uh, by 22.2 inches, 36 colors, uh, round, and I started it August 28th. And I finished it September 9th, so I finished that one really fast. It's not very big though, um, and like I gift, I like I said, I gifted that to my aunt. Honorable mention going into 2023, I have two wit or had two whips. Uh, the first one is My Sword by Enablers Outpost. I will show a picture of that on the screen right now, and. That one I feel guilty about because I started it in November, which is why there's a gap between this November finish and when I started this other painting that's my whip in December. Um, but I kind of made it my, I'll try to finish this whip. And then I started that other, um, the manatee, um, so I could give feedback to Lazy River as well. So I'm about halfway, almost maybe two thirds of the way through enable that, that painting and I would finish it right now. It would be what I was doing right in this moment except for I packed it in a box and I moved it. And I, I pretty much moved my entire diamond painting stash except for like, I think I missed five here. Um, so anything that I wanted to start or anything that I wanted to continue to work on has been moved, unfortunately. So that's the only reason why it's not literally here in front of you to show, but it's beautiful and I love it and I can't wait to finish it. And then the other whip I had going into 20, 23, I just finished and let's talk about it. So oh, let me open it. Let her fall off a little bit. Hopefully she doesn't take a full slide, but she's long. Okay, she's a panel. This is the Snow Queen. Oop. The Snow Queen. It is 33 colors from Diamond Art Club Round. Um, it was started December 10th, and I finished it January 7th. So it is my technically first finish of 2023. I probably won't do a post review on it because um, you can't get it anymore. It's discontinued. So what's the point? Nobody can buy it. Um, I loved it. I love doing these panels, honestly. The only thing about this one that was a little bit uh, taxing for me is that it's so much freaking blue. <laughs> um, literally all the colors except for her skin and her lips are, and her hair, I guess, are blue. It's all blue. The whole painting is blue. <laughs> so that got old, I guess. You just get got tired of seeing blue all the time. Um, but there were two ABs, I think oh, the 141 white AB and then like a 120 something, the blue, it's a blue AB, um, obviously. So yeah, it was fun and I, I was happy to finish it um, and I love her and yeah, I can't wait to do more panels this year, honestly. So I am currently whipless other than my enablers outpost that is away from me and that I can't finish. So what I'm thinking about doing is either waiting until I get back. Oh, your passy fell. <laughs> it's either waiting until I get fully moved um, so I can start what I wanted to start, which is um, the octopus lady from Jada Gem Shop, which will be quite the task. Or I do have artist's room by Miss Buttered in the other room. Yeah. It's, I'm talking please. It's small. So I could start that one. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. Um, the toddler's down. He's going to wreak havoc. I um, may come back later to show you my completed that was outside of 2023. I'll let you know. Okay. Welcome to your end of video spoilers. My toddler did wreak havoc. <laughs> uh, I was not able to come back and record the rest of this video to include any paintings that I had completed prior to 2022. 
Um, and uh, about a week later, my toddler fell and had decided how to get stitches. So uh, that postponed my move, and he is totally fine, just crazy. Uh, and also, I did start and complete Artist Room by Miss Buttered. So if anybody wants to see a post review on that, please let me know. Uh, but thanks for being here. Hopefully I can catch y'all up soon. Bye, thanks. <laughs> I just bumped the sh it out of that. Okay. All right, Lily, can you hang with me quietly while I, while I finish this? You cannot touch it. Okay, mommy's filming. Can you help me? So you stay here with me and we tell them things, okay? So keep your hands to yourself. Oh my God, this baby's heavy. I'm talking, please. Yeah. Can I talk? I'm filming. Is that cool? Um, so I started it as kind of like a desk. I'm talking. Yeah, my phone. Okay, can you let me talk and then you can talk when I'm done? Okay, shh.